Hey guys, I'm Cam and welcome back to the Pop Arcade. Today, if my calculations are correct, you're gonna see some serious shit. So let's get this baby up to 88 miles per hour and hope we're not assholes in the future. Alright, so if I've gotten my tracking numbers correct, then this should be a pop that I'm pretty excited for. And if it's not the pop that I'm thinking it should be, then this hat is going to feel pretty useless. Alright, yep, it's the right one. Here we go. This is Marty McFly in the Back to the Future outfit. Marty in Future outfit. Um, so I've been waiting on this pop for actually a really long time. So let's fast forward back a few months. Um, when the Back to the Future pops first launched, um, they came out, the artwork was with this pop. Um, but then when they actually came to the stores, this is the pop that turned up in stores. A hat with a silver coating, a silver colour, instead of the iconic rainbow like it should have been. So everyone was a little bit confused and I'm wondering why, and we still don't really know why, but it must have been a licensing thing. But now this has come out a few months after the initial release of the silver hat as a Target exclusive. So it looks like uh, Target wanted the rights to this one. Um, so yeah, this is a Target exclusive. It's uh, obviously I've got it in the international sticker um, because we're pretty special in Australia. We get this little shitty silver special edition sticker. But hey, at least we get the pop at all. So that's amazing. So I thought since this pop came in today, let's have a look at all my Back to the Future pops and uh, have a look at those. But just quickly, if you have a look on the box here, you've got the dates that were in the DeLorean. So you've got the first movie's date, 1955, the second movie's date, which was set in 2015, and you've got the third movie's date, which was set in 1885. So it's a little, little, you don't see these features if you don't unbox your pops. That's why I'm here, to unbox them for you. So you don't have to. This pop is really cool. Almost the same colours as mine. Hmm. I don't know why they initially just didn't go with this because well, he never has a silver hat in the movies, so another stupid pop that they've done. <laughs> but this one is really cool. Hey okay, guys, so here's my Back to the Future pops here. So let's go ahead and put Marty in his cabinet. Sweet. So I'll give you a closer look at these in a second, but there is three Back to the Future pops I am missing. And those pops are the, uh, I'll pop them up on the screen, you've got the 2014 uh, Funko Shop Emmett Brown, which is the Glow in the Dark Plutonium Edition. Uh, then you've got, it's a, it's a really new one, um, it's the Marty McFly um, in Jacket, it's a Funko Shop exclusive. So that one, I'm hoping is going to be coming to pop culture in the next few weeks. Um, if not, I might have to pay some big bucks to add him in. And then thirdly is the Walmart Edition Marty with Hoverboard. Um, so... That I'm still waiting on. I'm pretty sure Pop Culture is going to get it really soon, so I'm holding out from purchasing it with the big bucks. Um, but hopefully, it comes to Australia really soon. All right, guys. So here is the Back to the Future pops, my first shelf. Um, as you can see, I have a signed Christopher Lloyd. Um, he played Dr. Emmett Brown. Um, I got to meet him at the Perth Comic Con. I'll chuck up a picture of me and him here. Um, also with the guy who played Biff Tanner which is pretty cool. Um, so up at the top here, we've got the original sort of line. These are the original pops here. Um, and then these are sort of the newer ones that came out. This is your Loot Crate exclusive, which is over here, which is signed. And then you've got the pop ride of Mighty McFly in the DeLorean. So I love this Canadian Expo Mighty McFly. That's pretty cool. And then the Cowboy Mighty McFly from um, episode three, the third one. It's also so awesome. And then we've got the second shelf of Back to the Future Pops. These are the newer wave, the second wave of Pops. So up the top we've got Dr. Emmett Brown with the Pop Town, which is the clock house. Coming down here we've got the new Marty McFly, which I just unboxed. Biff Tanner, Dr. Emmett Brown, with his drawing of the flux capacitor. I love that. I also love Doc 
in the future suit, in the future glasses. And we've got a few Marty McFly variants down here, him with a skateboard, him holding a camera. We've got the, I can't remember which convention, the latest convention, checking his watch with his Walkman. And then you can see the stopwatches, both have the time. How cool. All right guys, we'll take a quick look at Pop Price Guide um, and the Funko app, and let's see which pops are holding their value the most in the Back to the Future collection. Uh, so it looks like uh, we've got Marty, uh, which is the latest one, Marty checking the watch. Uh, he's from the San Diego Comic Con of 2020, which is this year. He's coming in at 89 Australian dollars. The most expensive and rarest Back to the Future pop would be from the original line, uh, which is an underground toys exclusive. Marty McFly on the hoverboard. Um, he's vaulted from 2015 and he's coming in at 205 Australian dollars. And coming in secondly would be what I showed you before, Marty McFly, oh, where is he? Marty McFly um, from the Canadian, um, the Canadian Fan Expo of 2018. Um, he's coming in at 137 Australian dollars. So apart from that, all the rest are pretty average. Uh, Marty and Cowboy suit around $30. Some of them are $18, and then all of these ones, which have only just come out, they're all just still at retail value. So yeah, Back to the Future, one of my favourite sets. And you're probably going to hear me say this a lot with all my pops, they're all my favourite sets. Because I only collect the Funko lines that I really enjoy. Um, and that's why I haven't hit past a thousand pops yet. Because I'm really only buying the pops and the TV shows and the movies that I love and enjoy. Um, and the Back to the Future sets are definitely in like the top ten of my favourites. So... I'm so happy to be able to show this off today, and I hope I'll be able to show you the three I'm missing in the future, the near future. So guys, that's about it for today, so thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video, and uh, I'll see you guys shortly. Thanks for watching.